Welcome to the BrickLane 500 tutorial series. In this first video, we'll go through the hardware, the controls, the signal flow through the unit, and by the end of this video, you'll be ready to start compressing your very first audio with your BrickLane 500s. Let's start with the front panel. All controls are detented for precise control of all parameters. The first control is the input gain control. This is basically how hard you're driving the unit and it sets the levels going into the compressor and the stress circuits. This is critical to set correctly for gain staging purposes, of course, but also to set appropriately for the amount of saturation you want when you're using the stress circuit. From there, we have the threshold control. And this is like a threshold control on a normal compressor. This will determine when the compressor is going to kick in and engage the audio and begin compressing. From there, we have the attack control and the release control. The attack is how long it takes for the compressor to activate. And then the release is how quickly the compressor lets off the audio after it goes under the threshold again. Now, these are unlabeled. You'll notice that they're unlabeled, and that's because the range for the attack and release changes per mode that you're in on the BrickLane 500. Then we have the output gain. The output gain is there to basically drive into your next device, be it another analog processor or an interface or converter. So this is critical to get your gain staging right with whatever your input device is after the BrickLane 500. From there, we have the stress control. The stress control is basically a dry wet of a, our multi-band saturation circuit, our dynamics focus saturation circuit, stress, in most of the modes. So that is basically controlling how much stress, how much saturation you'd like in your compression style, and that changes per mode. But then in the polish modes, this is actually a threshold of the clipper. And we'll get more into that a little bit later, but for now, just know that it works slightly differently when polish is selected. It is setting the threshold of the clipper rather than a dry, wet control like it is in the other modes. The next control is the mode switch. This is a critically important control, which we'll go into a lot more later, but this changes the modes of the unit. That's to the right, and then to the left is the side chain high pass filter, which has four settings off uh, and then three different frequency values to roll off low end so it's, you're not uh, activating the low end in the side chain. The next switch is OptoSync. So the OptoSync control basically takes over the unit when it's the right unit next to this unit and it will listen to the controls from this unit, it almost take over the controls of this unit and listen to this units for all those parameters. This is useful for stereo linking and other controls, which we'll go into great depth later. Finally, we have the input switch or the bypass switch. You can disengage and engage the compressor by pressing that switch. On the rear of the BrickLane 500, you'll find the 500 series edge connector. This will allow you to insert your BrickLane 500 into your 500 series rack. You'll also find a 3.5 millimeter jack. This is our TRS OptoSync option. This is best used when you're trying to sync two modules that are not next to each other. So it could be one slot and the other one could be in another slot not next to each other, connect the cable, now they can be opto-synced. The BrickLane 500 has a very simple signal path. The very first thing in the signal path of the BrickLane 500 is the input gain. From there, it goes into the compression circuit. After the compression circuit, it goes into the stress. From the stress circuit, it goes into the output stage where the output gain is available. So working in tandem together, you can get best results, best gain staging, get your optimal input level for your desired effect of your compression and, your, and the stress circuit. And then after the stress circuit, you can trim down the gain into whatever input device the BrickLane 500 is going into, or you can boost the gain in a makeup gain style like you would do with a traditional compressor. No graces or as don't sell charms or as I'll take polythene, I'll take coal, jump through the mirror now. Your story's sold. That's the BrickLane 500's basic control set and signal flow. So now you'll be able to set your levels, 
trigger compression, and be able to bypass to compare results of uncompressed audio versus your compression settings on your Brickling 500. In the next video, we'll explore stereo operation with OptoSync and the various sidechain options that we have to ensure good stereo operation of the unit.